Hi, and welcome to round two, class number two of Shargo Golem. We're just going to pick up where we left off, and let's go. You guys ready to go? All right. Again, um, if you don't know what's going on, you can get the, the downloads online. Contact me, soulmozzle at gmail.com, and I'll direct you where you need to go to get the, the previous classes and the links. Because we're not going to do a review from week to week. You're expected to be uh, caught up to what's going on. Any feed, any guys? Do you guys have any feedback from last week? I, I got some good results back. People are saying it's all right. How are you guys feeling? Yeah. Everyone's groovy. One one two 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 one 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 two 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 two. Venaide, Kiha Adam, Mikesher. Or Mikshar, guys, who that word is? Kol Arba Oilamus Atsilas Briga Yitzirosi. It's known when a man is connected, I think it's Mikshar, to all four worlds Atsilas, the highest world, Briya, Yitzira, and Asiya. Classic Kabbalah teaches there are four worlds that we operate in. Even though there's five worlds, Adam Kadman, the highest, highest, like the godliest world, that world has nothing to do with you. So it's Atsilis, the world where the Sphirot are. You've probably seen the Tree of Life depiction. And the three worlds, as our good friend, which we quote a lot in this class, Mike says, the worlds of Bia, Mike says, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. And therefore, you have to say that there will be parts from all of them put, you know, together. And these different parts, each part of them, will be called by the name of the five names that we mentioned. Sheheim nefesh ruach neshama chaya chida kamosha yizbeer. Each part will be called nefesh ruach neshama chaya yachida. So that everything's, everything's in everything. Every, in the world of Yitzira, there's all parts. The world of Yitzira is all parts. In the nefesh, there's all parts. In the neshama, there's all parts. Velo berega echad zeichel lekachat kulam. You don't get them all in one moment. Rak kefi zechiusav zechiusav. Travis Armstrong knows all about that term. What does it mean? That only according to its merit. His merit. I actually have been a converted soul due to Travis Armstrong. I don't translate it as uh, merit anymore because it comes from the same word as purify. If you think about it, merit is purify, is it not? Let's think of a case. I would like someone to take the microphone. And give me a marshal, just invent on your top of your head a little allegory, whatever, about where somebody had merit. Go ahead. I want to hear your words. Tell me a little ditty about merit. You hear me okay, Rob? Yeah, go ahead. So I washed my hands and my mother allowed me to sit down at the dinner table. Travis merited to sit at the dinner table because he washed his hands. Travis was a filthy animal, and when he decided to shape up to his mother's statutes, he had to literally purify to the level of the dinner table. Is that a true statement, Travis? One or two. 
There you go. Right? There's a there's a level called the dinner table. You all probably have had that level put upon you as well. No? Give me one or two. You got you you have to have your shirt on. You gotta have your fork and spoon and knife in the right spot. Right? You gotta be prepared to say grace, whatever it is. Right? There's certain things you gotta do. That's called a level of purity. You have to purify. For, for example, for me, let's say it's Passover, right? We weren't allowed to go away from the table until we did sufficient amount of Passover things, which means I had to elevate my game in order to, be, to graduate from the table. So I merited the table. And merit just means I had to purify to that level. So you don't get these levels in one go. You got to do it according to your purity. You understand what I mean now by purity? Your merit comes through purification. Um, I merited to become the manager of Taco Bell. What does that mean? It means, or no, let, let, let me put it in a, in a funny, funnier term. I, may, I merited to be the manager of Burger King. Give me one. I'm going to give me one. You know why? Because I realized that I was the Burger King. <laughs> That's an old joke. <laughs> the thing about it, like the guy who's the, who's the manager, he, he realizes just how the operation works. Right? He's chipped off his armor that, that prevents him from getting it done. Right? The guys that take their cigarette breaks, they're not going to be the Burger King because they waste time. This guy... He is the Burger King. He, instead of smoking cigarettes, he's learning how to faster uh, cook the meat, order the meat, run the assembly line, right? He merited a $30,000 a year paycheck, whatever it is. I'm still, maybe I'm still 1995, whatever it is. Um, he, he is purity. He is purely Burger King. I, mean, I have an old friend from back in America, Todd. He literally has been driving for Domino's since he was 14. He was not driving. He worked in the pepperoni thing, but he's been in Domino's since he's 14. The guy is so Domino's, he says, that's Todd, right? So it, it's, it's a pure representation. You understand what I'm saying? Like my friend Todd is a pure example of what Domino's employee would be. A capitalist, how does he graduate in the ranks of Wall Street? He is the purest symbol of capitalism. Plug in whatever you want to plug in there, right? You open doors based on your purity. How, how do you graduate in levels of Kabbalah? You have to purify your way in. Does that make sense now? Let's just kind of give a crude example. In Asiya, you're very crude. If you want to get to Yitzira, you have to be angelic, right? Lose the lose the, the crass and crude behavior, become ex- so refined, you're angelic. That's an overly uh, dramatized view. I think it serves its point. In the beginning, you are lower than low. You are the lowest. And you, all you are called is a nefesh. You guys think you know what it means? If I said you are a nefesh, sometimes in the Torah, it'll say, you know, like Nebuchadnezzar stole the nefesh. I'll give you a perfect example of what it is to be a nefesh. You guys think I can do that? How many of you have seen the meme that says some people are so poor, all they have is money? One or two. Everyone type one or two. Well, there's a meme. It says, some people are so poor, all they have is money. That's the same thing here with Nefesh. You're so spiritually broke, all you have is your soul. You understand? Once you refine that Nefesh, then you take the Ruach. So now you, you, you have the difference between the guy 
who's so poor, all he has is money. You have actually worked your way up to a little economic system, right? You're homeless, but you, um, you, you, you saved up 20 bucks. It costs you $5 a day to eat and you get received charity uh, that, that makes you profit a dollar a day, one or two. So you ha- all you had was money, and now you're, you're profiting. So now you can imagine if you continue this, you're going to be all right, right? You're, 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 your life has been spared. You'll be able to afford clothing soon. You can get housing, all the demands of life, one or two. You're no longer just a soul, but you're now a living soul. And as we explain, we can avoid but common claim is safe for Zayar. Mehem a parshas vayachi, or mehem a parshas truma, or a prat, bereish parshas mishpatim, daf tzadik dalid amad beis vezele shono. It says in a lot of different places in Torah, Tachazi, come and check this out. Bar nash kad is yalid yavin le nefesh. Let's see if how my Aramaic shapes up. Um, a nine to five guy, when he's born, he's given a nefesh. Then we're going to explain that. Sorry, she no daich ata kitzat akdamis bein yin drushanizchar. After we explain that, we need to let it be known now a little bit of what preceded this, this expl- explanation. The Yinyan Nefesh Ruach V'neshama V'chaluka de Rabbonin Nisboyer in Yonam Ba'oyrech B'shar Dalud Shar Apoyskim Psukim B'posik Umeil Katan Tassel Lo Imo you can thank Chaim Korfin for this because he and I were talking and he asked me, what is the Chaluka de Rabbanan? And I thought I knew, but I didn't. <laughs> so I looked it up and I'm glad I did. Your body is a pathetic g- garment for your soul, as we said last week, one or two. So much so we are not meant to dwell on the body in that regard, but acknowledge and witness the soul. When you die, is your soul not eternal? Therefore, what God does is he evaporates your your divine holy liquid called your nefesh. And you go so high in that evaporation that you remain in a barely liquid state of like vapor. You will be vaporized. Because all you are is vapor. Your body is just a piece of meat, one or two. And all you are is a bunch of words coming out through vapor and thoughts that came from vapor. Therefore, are you not vapor? Are you not holy vapor? So that holy vapor, when it loses its body, which is more of a stumbling block to your vapor than anything, it will be given a garment. You're, you will become a hot air balloon, one or two. And that garment is called the garment of the rabbis, Chalukah the Rabbanim. And he, he, he brings a proof from a verse in Samuel Olive 2, 19. What's my next question? Kevin Johnson, I'm looking right at you. What's my next question? Come on, guys. What's the next question? No one? One, two, 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 one, 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 two, 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 one, 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 one. 
How about look up the verse? Because we always have to look up the verse because we're always in for surprise. <laughs> what do you think? You guys game? <laughs> we have to look it up. Because the air the, the ego says there's nothing there. Right? Remember, remember what gear is? Gear is the outcome of what happens when you look up the verse. If you don't look up the verse, there's no gear. So right now we have nothing. We 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 can trick ourselves into thinking that we have. And there's the neighbor giving the motorcycle. Thank you, everyone. Give a round of applause to the neighbor on the motorcycle. Show of two nineteen. All right. Now, so remember, what we're looking up is, is there really such a, a, a reason to call it the garment of the rabbis? What do you think? Is there such a thing? Is it just a made-up thing? That's going to be our question. It's got to be just made up, isn't it? It's got to be. The Arizal is saying, this is where you find out the, the garments of the rabbis. I think he made it up. Let's find out. Because it sounds like it's impossible, right? Doesn't it? Admit it. Just admit the fog, right? Doesn't it sound impossible? How could it be? Let's let the skeptic run wild. I'm going to read in English first. Let's see here. 19. His mother would make him a small robe and bring it up to him from year to year when she came up with her husband to slaughter the annual offering. All right, this is all about Samuel and Hannah. Remember Samuel and Hannah? Let's read the Hebrew. Umayl cut tasilo imo the ha alosa lo miyamim yamima ba alosa es isha lis voyach es zevach ayomi. Let's read our friends, the Bible commentators. Umail's a small coat she made for him, his mother. Omiskanale. It was ready for him the time of the holiday. The holiday was prepared with her her master, or, or yeah, her husband, to slaughter, slaughterings for the holiday. So Hannah brought up Samuel a coat from her husband to slaughter animals. Rashi, from year to year. Malvush doimik tzat l'meil shokayim gadol. Ah, how do you like them apples? Mitsudas Tzion. It was similar to the garment of the high priest. Didn't we say last week that the high priest um, was the level of the soul? The anointed goes on the soul. So if we can we assume that Samuel is a prophet like Moses and Aaron, as it says in Psalms, therefore he's a recognizable soul. Can we say that? So if Samuel is a recognizable soul and he's wearing a high priest garment, can we say that that garment is the real garment over his body and that his body is actually not the real garment? So that actually it's more of a surprise that he would have a body than that garment. You understand? It's like saying that Andre Agassi was born with a tennis racket as opposed to fingernails. You could allegorically make that statement, could you not? He was born with a tennis racket in his hand. It would mean it was just a foregone conclusion he was going to get that tennis racket. So, too, Samuel would not be denied that garment. That garment went over his soul. That is what the Chalukah the Rabbanan is. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's a really nice of our Torah. Everyone give a round of applause to the Arizal on that one. And particularly, it's a holiday garment. So it's really not of this world.
וגם נזבויר בשער השם, בשער המצווה, בפרשת ויחי, בדיני יבלס עין שם. So a whole bunch of other works to be a result. Talk about this as well. Ve'od nechadish dar ki kol ha'nefash is heima o'ilam ha'asiya bilvad. And you got to know further something new. That all the nefashas are in the world of Asiya alone. There's no nefashos in heaven, in Shemayim, in four wor- other three worlds. It's an Asiya thing. The Koharuchas. Go ahead and fill in the blank. Where are all of the higher level soul, the Ruchot, the Ruach? Where are they at? Travis, where are they at? Let's hear it. Let's go. No. Yitzira. Come on. And all the Neshamas, where are they at? Kevin Johnson. Travis. Yeah. Bria. However, Rov B'nai Adam, most people, ain't lehem kula chamisha chalakim. Most people don't have all five parts. Nikrayim nefesh ruach neshama rak chalik bilvad. Most people are this world bound by their nefesh. They're so poor, all they have is money. Do you concur? One or two? Asher he meyoy lavasiya. They're those people are totally into this world. Avagam is a yesh madrig is rabbis, but they also have a lot of levels. The whole key. Hine asiya atzma nechlek is lachamisha partsufim. Nikroyim erachan pin vab of ima zira nukfe. This world's not just kind of like mud and water, dirt. It is five parts sufim. It's five spiritual aspects. All right, five divine energy centers, which is the famous five parts sufim, which means personifications of Kabbalah. I hate to put it this way, but how many of you guys ever hear of the pentagram? Right, so this would be not the pentagram. This would be the, the holy version of that. Right? Instead of I mean Judaism does hold of the five things earth, air, water, fire, spirit. But this is saying on a totally deeper level. This is saying that, that this world of Asiya, think about all the things that your netfish is involved in, right? Money, food, dirt, water, fire, air. Relations, friendship, TV shows, animosity, hatred, love, jealousy. Can you imagine all that? Just imagine every episode of 90210, Beverly Hills 90210 you ever saw. One or two. In in your episode of 90210, there are five things at any given moment. I'm not going to make this up for context, okay? You guys with me? Let's just make I'm just making this up. But just uh, is there? Let's say in, in every high school, okay? There's the popular kid. We have him. Yeah, the rich kid, the dorky kid, the athletic kid, and the out outside, you know, alternative kid. Five types. Can we, 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 can we, even if we can't, but can we theoretically make an argument that every character in 90210 fits that bill? Again, I'm not trying to be accurate here, okay? Does everybody have a donut shop in their town? Could we invent a system of every donut shop has five aspects? Right? There's the drinks, there's the donuts, that's two, there's the stools, that's three. I'll call it stools and tables, right? That's three. The workers is four, and the bathrooms are five. Am I right? There's the five parts. 
I'm just saying the Kabbalah is the refinement of those five. I'm I'm speaking pretty gross, but you get the point. Vehine, meaning if you have Kabbalistic insight, you can really find the five. And it's meant to be refined. I'm not trying to refine it. But if you really refined it, you would get those five things. Which generally work out as the grandfather, the mother, the father, the son, and the daughter. Behold, Adam Terem she is Zachila Hasi Rucho Shemina Yitzir. Man has tarried that he should purify. Remember, when I say purify, it's the word merit, okay? That he should purify to grasp his Ruach that is from Yitzira. You speak and you think, type one or two. Everybody, type one or two. But you know not from where you speak and think from, type one or two. If you would understand your thoughts and your speech, you would understand where your ruach, where that holy vapor comes from, one or two. You would recognize your rabbinic garment of what your message of your soul is that it's trying to say. But you are not purified to your ruach. You're showing up at the table with your hands dirty for whatever reason, right? For whatever reason. There's a table in Yitzira where you're being invited to come eat for dinner and you're showing up not fully clad. You're lacking a shirt, not washing your hands. Your behavior is inappropriate. When you learn the proper protocol for your family in heaven that's calling you, you will understand how you speak and think, one or two. Let's say that you know, you're, you're in retail, and you're just not friendly. You know? You, know, you know how to run the machines, and you know the industry, but you're not a friendly person. And you know you're not. Your friends are always telling you, you know, but you're, you don't listen, one or two. By the time you're 50 years old and you're tired of being beat down and you're tired of making peanuts for a living, you start to learn how to smile, don't you? And they say, oh, now, now they're getting it. Now you're getting it. You start to smile and as you start to refine in your ripe age and you start to understand your thoughts and speech because now you're, you've been accepted at the dinner table, one or two. So you are lacking in one of your five in this world, right? You 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 are jealous of the of the cool kid, Beverly Hills nine hundred two and zero type one. That's you, isn't it? You are jealous of the cool kid, right? He's got the cool car, and you always drive the Yugo type one. You all, you always have the Yugo, and why is it you? How come you never get anything good? So you're you're lacking there. You got to get over that. Again, even though that it's known that there are those that their that their nefesh is from Malchus of Asiya. See, you're trying to get out of it, aren't you? You're trying to say, you know, he's got the cool car because his parents won the lottery. Isn't that why, Travis? But I'm from Malchus. And I don't have anything of my own. I have to work for what I have. I'm better than you, aren't I, Travis? Because I work for my Yugo. And you're, you know, the other guy, he's 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 just given his car. Type one. And the guys for that are from you sowed, well, they they inherited. It. And that's lame. It's not as good as me. I know it. And that guy will say, hey, Travis, you're right. I'm from you sowed. I'm better than you. Right? I'm from you sowed. You're from only lowly Malchus. In kol zed sorry she can kol ish ve ish kol klalas oylem hasia. Travis, as much as you and I don't like each other, I drive the cool car and you don't. We have to get over that, don't we? We have to learn how to see eye to eye and get over this, and realize it wasn't about the inheritance or working hard for the Yugo. Yisod and Malchus just have to get along. We got to find out how they get along. When we do that, after that. 
you and I, Travis, we're going places, aren't we? One or two. We're going to work together, and we're going to get access to our holy vapor. We're going to get access to the holy vapor, right? So it's going to be a real a breakfast club episode, isn't it? The jock and the prom queen are going to learn to get along, and it's okay. And just like where breakfast club ended, we know how, how the next Monday is going to happen. We're actually going to talk and get along and tell everyone in school that it's, it's not against the law for the, for the jock and the um, John Bender, right? The, the thug and the prom queen to get along, the dork and the weird girl to get along. Were there five people there? How many were there in Breakfast Club? Yeah, there he is. A good marshal, isn't it? Lafishi and Sierra Gundel, Mikula, Sia Kula. Whatever we come up with in our unity will be existentially greater than anything we ever did in this world. <laughs> now, me and, me and Travis are doing pretty good. We're talking, you know, high stuff. And that's probably called gear at that point, right? Where the wrestler and the, and the thug, they, they get along. All right, the prom queen, they're all talking gear, so it's all good. Thoughts and speech are holy. Everyone's on the same page. But we want to go higher now. We want to get our, our soul, our neshama, in Bria. But you know what? Again, I don't know if this is where the analogy breaks down, but we'll break it down. Um. Again, I don't, I, this is not true here. I'm, I'm breaking. I'm breaking shape, and this is now fiction. Travis, you know you're a good guy and all, but uh, you know you, you talk about things that are inappropriate, right? This is this is not how gear works. I'm, I'm breaking shape. So Travis is good. He's got a good ruach in this fiction story, but he's not talking high enough, right? He's always trying to bring analogies in like GI Joe, but it's good. There's wisdom in GI Joe. But we, we got to go higher. I want, I want the real thing. So I gotta, we got to fix that. Um, therefore, one second. The low ya speak lo ka asho yidke mekom prati makom prati shibo neche shorash nishmaso. It's not enough that I fix only the place of the parts that are grabbing the root of my soul. Right? It's not enough that I say, you know, Travis, I have needs, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick a specific need for my neshama. You see what I just did? I'm blaming Travis, but in the end, who's really to blame? Me. Because I'm, 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 I'm trying to pinpoint my problem, one or two. Right? My achrayim, my backside's looking down at, at Travis saying, you know, he talks about dumb things, and I'm higher and better. But really, I'm my problem. Because I'm trying to get you know to like my root, and I'm trying to say there's one thing I need to talk about like all the time. Only it needs to be fixed. Rock, rock, sorry, So again, and it's not enough that he fixed only the parts where his soul is rooted. Only it needs the rock, sorry, sheet can can his card. One second, I want to get a running start. I'm going to call you a little couple of months. I'll share a real lawyer speak low. I'll share you can mock on prati, shabo, neche, shorosh, nishmas, rock, zurich, rock, zurich, shit, shit, taken, archi, roy. Ah, you got to fix it to where you've got all of Asia, all of Yitzira, and all the worlds. Right? So you, every time you're going to limit yourself, you're not doing the work. So in the end, was Travis the problem? No. That was you making that up. That was you being holier than thou. Once you're holier than thou, and Travis is the problem, because all he talks about is G.I. Joe, that's me saying I'm better than you. That's no good. Because ultimately, what I'm saying is Travis of Asia is a contradiction to my rise to power. Well, my friend... If you recognize Travis as a problem in Asiya, you have not conquered all of Asiya, have you? 
you should have no problem in a SIA. That's how you know you're in a SIA. How do you know when you're there, when there are no problems where you are? If there are problems where you are, guess who the problem is? Let's hear it. That's right. Perush Advar. Shiyasuk Batayra Mitzviz Asherik Fiere Khasiya Kula. We're going to explain the matters that delving into the Torah and Mitzvahs that are according to all of Asiya. Velo Yisbi Kifi Prati Yismakam Achiz Nafsho. It's not enough that you work with the details of the place or the God, providence of the place where your soul grabs. Right? I only like yellow people. I don't like pink people. You guys like pink and purple people? I don't like pink and purple people. God only takes me to yellow people. Well, even though God takes you to yellow people, guess what you got to learn how to overcome and get good with? Also the per- pink and purple people. Because I guarantee you, if you try saying God only makes me hang out with yellow people, are there not Torah and mitzvahs, specific commandments, go hang out with the pink and purple people? There are. And you're going to try and say, well, pink and purple people are in Purpleville. and Man, that's a far drive. Travis, how far is Purpleville from here? How far is Purpleville? Isn't it pretty far? Purpleville. No, it's far away, man. It's like $5,000 just to go to Purpleville. Well, guess what God says? Get a job and go to Purpleville. You'll be going to Purpleville. It's not even that you don't want to go to Purpleville. You're, you're basically holding up flyers and protesting. Kill the Purple people. Even though Sha'in Umakam Achiz is not show, Sarikh Latikno. That you don't even like purple people. You don't think you have any purple in you. You're just against them because purple people make a ruckus. Don't they make a ruckus, those purple people? They're annoying. No one likes purple people. But guess what? God is saying to you, hey, my friend, you don't have a right to protest against purple people just because they're annoying and you have nothing to do with them. You need to go hang with the purple people. You need to go and hang with those purple people. And you need to help their cause because their cause is your cause. Amen. All right, that's it for this week for the Shargulim. We're going to do Mazel now. How'd you guys like that? That was 40, that was 40 minutes pretty quick, wasn't it? That was the, probably the 40, fastest 40 minutes of my life. How about you? Uh, no, we started at 9.20. 9.20. 40 minutes. Wait, that's the wrong book. Hold on. All right, so let's pick up now the Mazel book. Where do we leave off in Mazel? We talked about this stuff and that stuff and this stuff and that stuff. Mavoyer is a dvari mechadushi marat chiyusham va ule ula yesh la farish lushen shnei shakas lushen shini shakas of rashi kad isle mazla va eno noyach la hamiso hainu kivan shiyesh la malech malitz akan la shono. A man has mazl and therefore it's hard to kill him. I mean, it's just, you just can't kill a guy. Even if, even if you're a, a savage, you just can't kill a guy. You know, it's just that's how the mazel is. I mean, where are you gonna put the body? Where you just you're gonna get busted, not worth it. But there's a natural fear factor, and 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 just you know, people don't die, people don't get killed. It's not an easy thing to do. We're not mosquitoes. The animal kingdom also, you just it just doesn't kill people. People have a mazel not to die. Even though when God pulls your number, he pulls your number, right? I mean, you you don't go walking into um, 
you, you don't jump off of planes on a parachute, right? It just that doesn't happen by accident. <laughs> you don't if there, if if a, if a plane has a an opening, you don't sit right on the edge of that airplane and say, "Well, it's a good view." Right? How many of you guys do that? The plane, for some reason, the hatch will open. You go and say, hey, look at the view. You don't do that. An animal, though, would. You have an angel that's watching over you and testify for you. So even if you wanted to sit at the opening of an airplane and check out the view, someone would say, hey, Travis, dude, come over here. Check this out. You would actually go and check it out, meaning you would walk away from the great view of an airplane to go see someone drinking a bottle of water on an airplane. You would, it would be such a strong pull, you would, you would actually want to go see the bottle of water because your mazel would say, Travis, now's not the time to die. Everyone's got an angel a mazel angel above them. Beor beinyan chashash the mis of Yehoshua Adam liyishmor bemafkia. I don't think I want to read that. It's just more of the same. I want to cover ground. Basically, it's not easy to hurt you. It's not easy to damage you. It's not easy to kill you. You have angelic protection, right? And when when you basically are not in connection with that, you're vulnerable, and God. Pay those checks and balances for that system. All right. This is a famous one. Ready for ready for a famous one, Travis? Ha kol toloi b'mazel v'filu sefer tayra b'heichel. Everything is held in mazel, and even a Torah scroll in the in a temple or a closet, the chamber. Shineinu b'zoyhar kan Rabbi Elazar Pesach v'Aimer hakol toli b'mazel filos he was over hechel. Chaim hov na hov b'tikoni zoyhar the kol toli b'mazel filos he for toibah shvehechel. All Torah in this world, right now we're doing live Torah. It is held with mazel. That means I was brought to teach this to you today. You were brought to hear this today. It's like a little miniature side eye going on. When you, every everyone, I want you to stop right now and think about the books in your house, the Torah books. Type one when you've done that. The Torah literature in your home, or on your browser, on your computer. Every drop of that was brought to you by God. Divine appointment. Type one. God teaches you Torah. God brings you Torah. There's nothing outside of that. Madua Nikra Mazel. Why is it called Mazel? Isn't that a good question? Why is it called Mazel? Every, every Jew says Mazel Tov. And then they'll tell you, but there's no Mazel. Does that make sense? <laughs> So my, why? what is the language of Mazel? They'll say, but Jews don't believe in astrology, Travis. Well, here's the secret. Jews believe in astrology. I'm joking. <laughs> right? Wouldn't they, wouldn't they love that to be my answer? Well, how does Rabbi Katz say there's astrology if there's no astrology? Well, Rabbi Katz said there is astrology. Well, that's what they wish I'd say. But that's not true. The, the word itself means flow, means to flow. F is in Frank, L-O-W. Mamshich Zoyer, Veshoyo Madua Nikra Mazel. The Zohar asks, why is it called Mazel? Meishi Meshum Shemameinu Toloyim Hatzlachot. 
all successes is held by Mazel. It's like God has a uh, a cauldron that he tips and at Silas, speaking of which, and in that cauldron is called success. And as it flows into your soul or down your soul, Therefore, it's constantly suspended from what we learned in the Ariza about the, the worlds and things. Eventually, you reach your successes. And what are those successes? They are three. There are three things called success. Success is not the same as merit. Travis, what does merit mean? Purify. So if you this goes this is the exact opposite end of the spectrum from what we said before. I I get things by by purifying my soul. And by purification I open doors this and that. And that's called merit. Just as we said before. This is not that. This is the alternative success. It's called mazel. And it's nothing you can do to stop it. This is not show up and wash your hands at the table. It's not put your shirt on. It's a different system. What are the three things of success? Offspring or legacy, life, and sustenance. Your job your kids, and your money, all, all these things. This comes by God tipping the cauldron of success upon your soul. No matter how much you're told to wash your hands, it's not going to help when it comes to this. This is why we say, Lav b'schuta talia milsa, elaba talia milsa. Not in the pan of merit is... Uh, Children, life, and Mazonos sustenance are not in the pan of merit held a thing. Rather, with Mazel is the thing held, even the Torah scroll in the, um, what do you call it? The, basically, the, the Torah that God brings you. Even the Torah is held by Mazel. And that means the Torah has a certain level of success. Thank you for listening. Be well.